to the theme, then you'll see that the theme is platforming, right? Lots of use cases have been around for a while, right? Are growing in community and growing in transactions. Like, if you want to follow the meta, it's not sexy, but the meta is where you make money. You just buy and huddle long term. You know, every single year without fail, in the early parts of the year, in January, the first couple weeks, I get smashed with people asking me about my year end review, which I used to do back in 16, 17, 18, 19. Some of you guys remember that. I didn't do 2022 or 2021. Uh, and I haven't done a 2020, yeah, I haven't done a 2021 just yet. But people are always asking me about what are the coins I should invest in? What should, what should I get into? What, what are you looking at this year? Now, obviously, nothing I say is investment advice because I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But I will tell you this. These are the 10 tokens and or coins and or projects that you should probably be looking at in 2022. Let's get into it, guys. You know, the crypto market is full of established and promising projects. While many of them have turned out to be nothing more than hypes, a growing number of altcoins are listed in the top 10 cryptos to invest in. So here's my top 10. Nothing special, but, and you guys are going to know some of the basics anyway, but here's the top 10. The first one that you have to invest in for large returns has to be that right. Busy beat coin, guys. Number one is that beat. It's the amazing beat that you guys love and know. It's got to be Bitcoin. Despite a checkered start to the year, Bitcoin remains the number one in the top 10 cryptos to invest in. Launched officially in early 2009, Bitcoin is the first recognized digital currency and has continued to lead the crypto market. The decentralized asset controls around 40% of the burgeoning ecosystem, and the premier digital asset's remarkable success and adoption large, largely lie in its cryptographic buildup. In the Bitcoin white, white paper, for example, in 2018, only 21 million Bitcoins will ever be mined. This gives the crypto bellwether a deflationary outlook, with several retail and institutional investors preferring it to cash. That's actually an understatement. Many institutional investors are going a big time into that BTC. Better ask somebody. Bitcoin is currently the most adopted crypto asset with a record number of legacy facing companies adding to the decentralized currency to their books. However, Bitcoin global adoption has been just a little bit hampered by its energy guzzling mining process, which is constantly propaganda. You guys have seen my video on Bitcoin mining does not hurt the environment better check that out guys and all of the nonsense that contributes to global climate crisis which isn't actually true efforts are ongoing to make this process more energy efficient which is still fair and still right and we're doing this as miners ourselves and one of the such efforts is a computer chip manufacturer giant intel corporation which i've talked about in other uh, streams as well, which is shared that it has plans to launch a 3600 watt miner to improve Bitcoin mining efficiency. Bitcoin is currently facing a stiff bearish battle and has slid below the $4,000, $40,000 mark. And the digital asset is trading about 39,000 up 2.2% in the last 48 hours. The relative strength index or RSI, some of you guys enjoy using that figure is 41.99 shows that Bitcoin is trading in the underbought region making now an ideal time to own one of the top 10 cryptos to invest in. And obviously, I don't need to tell you so much about why Bitcoin is the baby mama, is the baby daddy, is the big daddy that you want to get into. Dollar cost average that baby. Let's do it. Number two, well, as much as I have personal biases against this particular crypto token, mostly because it went completely centralized and the power rests in one's man's hands, you got to look at Ethereum. Ethereum is a premier protocol in the smart contracts niche and has birthed multiple ecosystems due to its robust network. Launched in July 2015, the Ethereum network enables the development of other decentralized applications, or as some of you guys have heard, dApps, on top of its protocol. Given this, Ethereum currently has 58.54% of the DeFi ecosystem in its stronghold, pointing to a flourishing protocol. Well, flourishing is a relative consideration. 
Ethereum has broken into the crypto limelight and is currently the second most valuable digital asset behind Bitcoin. The digital asset surged to north of $5,000 during the November 2021 crypto bull run. However, the smart contract protocol has since dipped this year and is trading at $2,600, up about 3.6% in the last 48 hours. The DeFi hub has since posted a 51.26 increase in the last, last six months, making ETH one of the top 10 cryptos to invest in for the long term. Now, following on the footstep of its older crypto cousin, ETH has since been added as a form of appreciation for content on Twitter tips. Now, you guys might have seen my, me tweeting about this on February 16th because I got a notice. Now you can tip on ETH. Pretty cool stuff. So Ethereum is coming around. It's continuing to grow. And frankly, one of the best choices for platforming right now. But that doesn't mean that it's going to be around as the number two big dog in the future. So let's look at some of those other platform tokens that you probably should be looking at. One of them, of course, has to be Binance Coin or BNB. You know, Binance may not be currently the third most valuable digital asset by market cap, but the discount token is one of the top 10 cryptos to invest in. Absolutely. Owned by the world's largest crypto exchange by trading volume, Binance, BNB serves as an incentivization tool for traders. The BEP20 token is used by traders to cut down on their trading fees from 10% to 0.025% depending on the amount of BNB they hold. Binance Coin has continued to feature prominently beyond the crypto exchange and is a principal character in the larger Binance ecosystem. All protocols built on top of the Binance Smart Chain, or BSC, interact with BNB, increasing its use cases and user appeal. The whole idea that you need to know here, the more that engineers and developers use this token, the more valuable it becomes. That's the point. So obviously, Binance is spending a lot of time making sure that their ecosystem is ready and awesome for developers to work on. And frankly, it's cheaper than Ethereum. Mm -mm. You see, in my opinion, Binance Coin is set to play a principal role in the rebranding of the BSC network, following a network restructuring from BSC to BNB chain. The idea is to make a new protocol on multi-chain solutioning, catering to unique needs of the MetaFi ecosystem, consisting of the Metaverse, GameFi, SocialFi, Web3, non-fungible tokens or NFTs as well. So, BNB is currently trading as $379, down 31% in the last 48. BNB token, I think, has a real good chance of eating the lunch of a lot of these other platform tokens and platform protocols like Ethereum. So let's talk about one that many of you guys, <sighs> look, you can get caught up on philosophies. You can get caught up on on these the the esoteric leanings of of your 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 worldviews. And, and say that, just like I, for example, say that it's hard for me to invest in Ethereum after I got rug pulled uh, with the DAO hack and then Ethereum went centralized, right? You can, you, can, you can stick to your guns in that. And for example, for me, I don't buy Ethereum. Now, do I have Ethereum? Yes, because people give it to me. Uh, but I invest in Ethereum Classic because Ethereum Classic is it's more aligned to my worldview. If you are not going to be a stickler for worldviews, then this next token, regardless of what you think about it, can you make money on it? Well, that's what I'm here to talk about, guys. So let's talk about it. The next one has to be the XRP army. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. A lot of you guys are going to be like, nope. But here, at the end of the day, Ripple is another top 10 crypto to invest in and should not be missed. The Ripple blockchain is a scalable and low-cost protocol that is focused on enabling financial institutions to transfer value across borders. Look, I hate cross-border transactions just as much as pretty much the tens of millions of people who work in other countries and send money back to their friends and family. I hate it just as much as they do. Why? Because it is a toxic, it is a parasitic industry where they charge you an arm and a leg in your left kidney just to send money to your family. Can Ripple solve this? Certainly. Can Ripple make it cheaper for cross-border transactions? I'm all about that. Is there history behind it that could be shady? I mean, that's up to you to decide. But at the end of the day, their use case is pretty strong. And can you make money on it? 
XRP Army, you're going to love this. Launched using the Federated Consensus Algorithm, or FCA, Ripple is one of the better-known crypto projects in the market and is currently the sixth most valuable digital asset by market valuation. The Ripple blockchain has separated itself from the crypto crowd largely due to its innovative use of the technology. And let's be honest, lots of partnerships as well. You guys were in the game. You guys hear this all the time. Ripple has committed to a carbon-free future with plans to make its protocol environmentally friendly come 2030. And the Digital Euro Association, or the DEA, has also tapped into the blockchain protocol as a principal partner to develop its central bank digital currency, or CBDC, program. Price-wise, which you can't be mad at, price-wise, Ripple XRP token is currently trading at a discount for $0.78, cents, which is down 1.57% in the past 48 hours. However, the digital asset is tra holding its own and is trading on par with the 50-hour exponential moving average, or the EMA indicator. Now... For many of you guys who've been following Ripple for a long time, you know that anything under a dollar is a pretty good di good deal. So is now the time to fill up some bags? Not financial advice. You guys make the decision for yourself. Now, many of you guys know that I have been a big fan of this next token and, and, and project for a long time. Of course, it has to be Cardano. Cardano, or ADA, is a top 10 crypto to invest in and ranks as one of the most celebrated blockchain protocols in the crypto market. Using a peer-to-peer -peer, peer -peer review system, Cardano is a proof-of-stake protocol that enables the development of smart contract networks. Cardano is still under development and has been for a long time. However, it's expected to come with a high throughput of over 3 million transactions per second, or TPS, once its Hydra update launches later in the year. Several dApps have been migrated or building directly on the Cardano network due to its low fee and energy-efficient structure. One of the newest entrants is Arcadex, which doubles as an automated market maker and decentralized exchange. We can have more of these, and the more of these that we have, the better. So keep building. The blockchain protocol will enable a seamless exchange of native and non-native tokens on the Cardano network. Another unique features include anonymity, reduced counterparty risks prompted by one party not going through the transaction, and low-risk security. Cardano's ADA has borne the, the 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 has borne and survived the current bear run resiliently and is currently trading below the one dollar mark. Which, for those who've been in the crypto world, any Cardano under a dollar is still a pretty good deal, right? Now it oscillates and it, it oscillates around that range, but for anything like this that's been around this long, with this many projects and partnerships for under a dollar, could be a long term hodl. You guys, let me know in the comments if you agree. So ADA is trading at 94 cents, up 1.2% in the last 48 hours, despite a broader market downtrend. Now, here's one that I haven't talked a lot about, but people always ask me about on Twitter. It's Solana. Solana has enjoyed a breakthrough in 2021 and is now considered one of the hottest prospects in the crypto space, even with a lot of the, let's just say, technical issues that it's been having as well. But it's a project like any projects. We're learning, we're growing, build, building stuff maybe sometimes live. We'll do it live, guys. Leveraging the POS and proof of history timing mechanism, Solana has 50,000 transactions per second and costs way less in trans transaction fees than principal DeFi rival Ethereum. These features make the DeFi hotshot one of the top 10 cryptos to invest in. And it's even better as a blockchain driv driven economy as it continues to gain momentum and grow in the world. Now, Solana has continued to gain remarkable adoption and has reportedly suffered, well, as I brought up just recently, network outages due to excessive transactions coming into the network. This points to a growing market demand for scalable and energy efficient blockchain network, which are essentially twin concepts that the Ethereum network is building towards and frankly is going a little bit slower than everyone has suggested or wanted it to be. But Solana, on the other hand, has recently launched an on-ramp payment solution in collaboration with stablecoin mark maker Circle Protocol. The Solana Pay will enable USDC to operate in the Solana ecosystem, which is a big win. Adding to this, Solana has recently been tapped by social donation tool Change for onboarding. Now anyone can use the Phantom Wallet to sign a social cause, donate, and track their donations. Sol is currently trading below its record high of $260 per share with a price of $92.70, up 5% so far in the last 48. Now, this next particular token, number seven, is one that I've talked about on other 
videos, so you might want to listen in. It is Terra or Luna. We've talked about this in the metaverse, guys. Another prominent DeFi protocol, Terra Blockchain, is one of the top 10 cryptos to invest in for the long term. The team behind the DeFi network aims to create a stable currency for digital assets as the crypto market is plagued by volatility. This has led them to create multiple stable coins for several fiat currencies, with the UST being the most prominent stable coins. The Terra blockchain has continued to gain investor interest and is currently one of the most exciting blockchain protocols on the crypto market. For example, the Washington Nationals M uh, Major League Baseball franchise has recently teamed up with Terra Blockchain. It's expected to be a five-year partnership, and the total cost is placed around $38 million. The partnership is in a bid to promote the Terra Blockchain across all Washington national networks and also boost the awareness of the UST and Luna tokens. Luna has continued to ride on the crypto wave for the past year and has surged to an all-time high of $103 in late December of 2021. Currently, Luna is just trading at 50% that at 51.24, but still up 5.25% in the past 48, showing a promising rally in the coming weeks. Now, number eight is one that we've talked about before as well. It's Avalanche or AVAX. The Avalanche blockchain is reportedly the fastest blockchain protocol based on time to block finality. Now, this is something that I recently actually learned about. And interestingly enough, I don't actually see it as a value proposition that is super valuable, but is certainly unique. We'll get into it in a second. Also, this particular token is a DeFi facing smart contract protocol. So the Avalanche blockchain is a layer one network that aims to engender the broader adoption of DeFi and cryptocurrencies. Avalanche has remained a principal competitor to the Ethereum network. So far, some DeFi protocols call it home. The most recent DEX protocol, ZDEX, which allows DeFi users to swap limitlessly from zero gas obligations, zero fees, and the best rates in its twin multi-chain DEX aggregator, Zero Swap Labs. So it's a lot of stuff being built here. But the utility token AVAX has borne the brunt of the bear market and is currently trading at $79, down 22% in the last 48. This is just 45% below its all-time high of $146 in late November of 2021. However, regardless, the AVAX token has grown more than 15,000% from this all-time low of $2.79. Could be a pretty nice cha-ching at the end of the day. Get a couple, maybe, see how it works. Let's go on to number nine. This is actually one of my daughter's favorite tokens. I don't know why. Probably just because it's cool sounding. It's Polkadot. Polkadot is a heterogeneous blockchain solution founded by former Ethereum co-founder and CTO, Dr. Gavin Wood. The protocol enables the development of DeFi services on its protocol while connected to its relay chain. Each DeFi protocol is called a parachain and leverages Polkadot's security infrastructure to build and launch blockchain services. Polkadot has taken the quiet and less traveled path to building a sharded blockchain solution whereby all asset types can be seamlessly sent and received. And I have spent, and our team here has spent a lot of time building and testing the uh, Polkadot network and parachains to see whether we could build something. And we actually ended up building a testnet, which was pretty cool, and an NFT program on top of it. But what's really cool is how extensible this system really is. There's a lot of optionality, a lot of ways that you could build on Polkadot. So I'm going to continue to experiment with it. Regardless, the protocol is currently working and its parachains auctions, which see DeFi protocols raise crowd funds to bid on a spot on the network. Hydra DX has recently won the ninth parachain auction and will join others in tapping into the Polkadot ecosystem. If you're wondering about the price, well, the DOT token has seen its growth stalled by a broader market downtrend. And at press time, DOT is trading at $16, up 32%, uh, 0.32% rather, in the past 48. DOT is trading on par with the moving average, convergence, and MACD indicators for those that are interested. And last but not least, guys, here's one that I've talked about before. One that should be on your radar as well for 2022, it's Polygon or Matic. Polygon may not be one of the top layer one protocols, but the scaling solution is still one of the top 10 cryptos to invest in for the long term. Based on the Ethereum network, Polygon helps the parent network to validate transactions off chain before adding them back to the Ethereum network. Polygon has been able to establish itself as a premier layer two protocol, and the modular framework comes with a reputed 65,000 transaction per second 
low carbon footprint, and most importantly, low fees, which is what we're all looking for. Despite the market downturn, these features have seen Polygon continue to enjoy investor attention. The scaling solution recently raised $450 million from venture capital heavyweights, including Sequoia Capital, SoftBank, Galaxy Digital, and a host of others. At press time, the utility token is going for a discount at $1.50, down 0.44% in the last days. So, there you have it, my friends. There's the skinny. Here's top 10 tokens, projects that you guys should be looking into for 2022. Let me know if I got them wrong. Let me know if you think that I that there should be other tokens that you should check out. But I think these are solid long-term plays. Why? If you have if you've collected a theme, then you'll see that the theme is platforming. Right? Lots of use cases have been around for a while, right? Are growing in community and growing in transactions. Like if you want to follow the meta it's not sexy, but the meta is where you make money. You just buy and hodl long term. So you tell me, is buying and hodling the best way or should you probably be mining cryptocurrency with an Emirate miner? You can go to www.emrit.io, check it out. You can get yourself a helium miner and start using the mined HNT tokens that you get and start buying some of these other, other coins and making even more money. You can make money on money. That's what's so great about the cryptocurrency world. We're abstract, ab abstracting value on top of value, on top of value, guys. It's amazing.